How you doing guys? Zane's every box and dosage here, back with another video. In this video I'd like to give you my prediction for this upcoming fight. It's going down, I think it's March or early April. It's the return of Campbell Hatton versus James Flint. Now this is a good fight, you know, British domestic level sort of fight, English title. Not an English title, but you know, it's a British domestic level clash against James Flint. You know, Flint, a decent, decent sort of record, 13 and 1, uh, with two wins coming by a uh, draw. Two, two, two draws. Um, he's very experienced, you know. Uh, a slight step up, in my opinion, for Campbell Hatton compared to the opposition he's fought so far. Um, it's an interesting fight, you know. James Flint is going to give um, a bit of boxing ability in this fight. You know, can uh, Campbell Hatton overcome that? You know, that's the question because we've seen Campbell Hatton being vulnerable in the past, get caught with unnecessary shots. And I think uh, James Flint is his footwork is slightly better than Campbell Hatton. So it'll be interesting to see if Campbell Hatton can cut off the ring and um, go to James Flint's body to slow him down because um, I think he's a bit more fleet footed he's on the toes of his balls um, you know he's always you know going around in the ring you know and uh, Campbell Hatton needs to cut that off you know because uh, it'll be a bit frustrating if he can't hit him you know um, James Flint has got a bit of footwork you know so you got to give him credit for that and like I said, it's a slight step up for Campbell Hatton. You know, um, Campbell Hatton is an improving fighter though. I'm seeing in his last couple of performances, he's becoming a really mature fighter with his patience and ability, you know, to cut off the ring. Um, not only that, he likes to trade. He just gotta be careful, you know, get his defense up, get his guard up, because he can get caught, you know? And he's a full, sort of fighter like his father, you know? Um, so he's got to keep his wits about him, man, because uh, as he goes up in levels, it's not going to get easier, you know. And there was talks of Terence Crawford maybe fighting uh, Campbell Hatton, but that was just rumours. But if he, if he fought someone like Terence Crawford, he would be in trouble, you know. I can guarantee you that, do you understand? So he's definitely got to, you know, pattern up on his defence, you know. So he's got to make sure that his defense is on point because as he grows up in levels he's going to get exposed if he doesn't correct them sort of uh, mistakes right now do you understand but this is a good fight man james flint he's going to come in there to try and win he's not going to come there just to make up the numbers so i'm really interested in this fight the odds are very interesting as well you know um but i have to favor campbell hatton here you know, I think he's got the bigger ambition in his career. James Flynn coming off a draw in his previous fight, you know. So, it's going to be an interesting fight, man. A really good fight to see who comes out on top. But as for my final prediction, guys, I'm going to go with Campbell Hatton to win this fight via unanimous decision. You know, I don't think he's got that power, that one punch knockout power. I think a cumulative effect, effect from Campbell Hatton will eventually slow James Flint down and obviously get him to trade on the inside, which, which is where Campbell Hatton can have his most success, in my opinion. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to go with Campbell Hatton in this fight. Let me know your thoughts, guys. As always, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. It's Zane's Heavy Boxing Dosage. I'm out.